Alright, what's up people? This is Sif Furian. Right now we're going to be getting into episode 6, chapter 14 of The Mandalorian. Man, the last episode was unreal, man. We finally got to see a live action Ahsoka. I've watched that episode so many times now. <laughs> Either watching it on Disney Plus or watching like other reactions. I, I think I've probably watched every single reaction on YouTube. I, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of crazy to see how much love Ahsoka gets. It's unreal. I really need to check out all of the Clone Wars and... You know, like I get what all the fuss is about, but I want to get what all the fuss is about. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to get it until I actually watch it. So, so I guess with this episode, we're going to be uh, heading off to those Jedi ruins and putting Baby Yoda or Grogu onto that scene soon and, and put out like a warning, like alert message or something <laughs> and see who picks it up. As far as who it could be, I mean, everyone seems to have their, their own idea of who it could be. From Ezra Bridger to, to Luke. Like, it's... I'm, I don't know. I really don't know. I can't see it being Ezra. Like, it's... I would love to see it. But then at the same time, like, I'm... I don't want this show to become, like, Star Wars Rebels, the sequel series. You know what I mean? Like, it's... I think the whole name drop of Thorn and everything is just to build hype and 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 excitement for Soka's own series. You know what I mean? Um, there's a possibility of Luke. Um, either they go with like a digital younger Luke or they get Sebastian Stans. I know a lot of you are really hyped for that. Even Mark Hamill has said, okay, like it's okay if like Sebastian plays like a young Luke. I mean, it could be like a new Jedi that we've not come across yet. Someone who's been in hiding since Order 66. Maybe. Maybe it's the person who saved him from Order 66. Uh, maybe it's Mace Windu. <laughs> we, like, I don't know. I don't know. But something we, we didn't really talk about last time was Grogu sits on that stone and puts himself out there into the Force. Who's to say that it's only Jedi that's going to hear it? Who's to say that it's only Jedi that's going to sense it? The Sith could still be out there, man. I don't know. I just think it's kind of an interesting idea to say that the Sith are still out there, you know? But... I don't know, man. Going by the actual thumbnail for this episode, Kara Dune is going to be coming back in it uh, because it shows, like, Mando talking to her. So, But I really don't know why we're going back there now unless he needs more help. Maybe he needs support in some type of way. But with this being episode six, I feel like he needs to start setting up that finale. Uh, so maybe, like, especially after, like, the last episode was such a big one, this one might be, like, to kind of bring it down a little bit. Not so much a filler, but just kind of bring it down and basically lay the foundation for the last two episodes. Because I think they might do what they did with series one. How episode episode seven and eight is more or less the same episode. It's, they just play back to back. So I think they're going to do the same type of thing, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like this episode might be a set up episode for the finale. Uh, maybe Muff Gideon will turn up. Maybe... Um, I don't know, but but we need to start introducing shit like that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get into this. Episode 6. <sighs> Let's do this, man. Grogu. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Grogu. No, it's mine. Grogu, come on. You can have it. Dang, Farrick. <laughs> Hey, no, I'm not mad at you. You did good. Wow. I just... When the nice lady said you had training, I just... Keep it up, man. You need to get used to doing it more. I like how he called Ahsoka that nice lady. <laughs> the tragedy. Oh, that doesn't sound fucking good, does it? Looks like that's the magic rock I'm supposed to take you to down there. Oh, shit. Sorry, buddy, I can't land on the top. Too small. Looks like we're gonna have to travel the last stretch with the windows down. Just jumping straight in, man, okay? Wasting no time, like, walking on foot or whatever. <laughs> <sighs> so fucking cool. Does this look Jedi to you? 
<laughs> Does this look Jedi to you? Oh, come on, kid. Ahsoka told me all I had to do was get you here and you do the rest. Are you fucking kidding me? No way that slave won. What the fuck? Are we gonna see Baba? <laughs> Boba. <laughs> oh my god. So he does still have his shit. We don't have time for this. We gotta get. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! So if Boba still has his ship, then he hasn't been stuck on Tatooine, has he? Has he been tracking Mando this whole time? I've been tracking you, Mandalorian. Are you Jedi? Or are you after the child? Oh, I'm here for the armor. If you want my armor, you'll have to peel it off my dead body. I don't want your armor. I want my armor. That you got from Cobb Van back on Tatooine. Are you Mandalorian? I'm a simple man making his way through the galaxy. Like my father before me. Oh, shit! As soon as I see that muzzle flash, you're both dead. I didn't mean she was going to shoot you. My friends locked on to that little Shame. companion of yours up on the hinge. And if you remember, <gasps> I don't miss. Fennec? You have a keen ear, Mando. Oh shit, so that was him on Tatooine who went to her body. The armor was given to my father, Django, by your forebears. In exchange, I guarantee the safety of the child, as well as your own. The bounty on your little friend has risen significantly. I'd say we're offering a fair deal under the circumstances. Help me and I'll protect the child. What the fuck? Who's this now? Go, go. Imperial. I, I just... So Boba Fett's going to take back his, his... Boba Fett is going to take back his armor and he's going to work with Mando to protect the child. Fuck, I love Stormtroopers, man. Their look is so iconic. It's unreal, man. Shit. Jesus. Man, my God. If Boba Fett was that badass back on that sail barge by Tatooine, I think things might have turned out a bit different for Luke and everyone. <laughs> so she's got like dry parts in her now that's keeping her alive. I wonder how much of Boba Fett is dried now. Because I kind of like refuse to believe that he got out that Sarlacc pit just with some scarring, you know? Wow. Are you gonna move or just stay there? I guess just stay there, okay. Oh my god. He's gonna come walking out the ship with his fucking armor on, any? I bet you. I'm loving this episode so far, man. <laughs> oh, now he comes out of it. Oh! It's okay, buddy. You have a little nap for now. We don't want you. We want the child. Okay, let's move in. I love that man, he's like guarding her with his armor. 
Oh shit! Fuck! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. Nice shot. I was aiming for the other one. <laughs> <laughs> The kid. Tomando's lost his ship now. What the fuck? Wow, okay. They're literally droids. Alright. Very Iron Man, aren't they? <laughs> John Favreau? <laughs> I see you handiwork, man. Thought Grogu was gonna do something like. Abort pursuit. Disengage. Do not harm the child. Copy. I'll do a loose follow. See where they head up. It's still unreal, man, to know that Boba Fett. Boba Fett has got his armor back and he's fucking in his ship and just. Oh my fucking god. They're back. Who? The Empire. That can't be. The Outer Rim is under the jurisdiction of the New Republic. I can see the Imperial Cruiser with my own eyes. Heading down. <sighs> Rescue mission, in it. I said it, then I. This episode will set up the finale, and and like the next two episodes is going to be trying to rescue the kid. It's going to find the board there. Yeah. I got an idea. My chain code has been encoded in this armor for 25 years. You see, this is me, Boba Fett. This is my father, Django Fett. Your father was a foundling. Yes. He even fought in the Mandalorian civil wars. Then that armor belongs to you. I appreciate its return. Then our deal is complete. Not quite. How so? We agreed, in exchange for the return of my armor, we will ensure the safety of the child. The child's gone. Fucking team up, man! I, I can't believe this. I really can't believe this. Oh, that ship looks so beautiful, man. <laughs> I need you to locate someone in the prison registry. See what I can do. Ex-Imperial sharpshooter. Last name Mayfeld. Apprehended near the Delestri system on a derelict prison ship. What the fuck? You know how I feel about the Empire. But these stripes I mean there are rules I need to follow. They have the kid. Fuck rules, right? I bet anybody is gonna get everyone together who can help. And we might have Ahsoka turn back up again. I guess being on that scene stone has made him a bit stronger, hasn't it? Have you ever seen one of these? From years past. Oh. 
You're not ready to play with such things. Looks like you could use a nice long sleep. Put it in shackles. When we come out of hyperspace, send an encrypted message to Dr. Pershing. Let him know we have got our donor. Yes, sir. Oh, man, it is going to be a rescue mission, isn't it? Give me rescue mission and fucking, um, by the time that they say Grogu, that they're already going to have took a load of blood and, and everything. And I do think it's going towards creating Snoke. Um, and possibly helping the Emperor as well. They really kind of like faked us out with uh, Cara Doom being in the, the fucking thumbnail, were not it? <laughs> Good on them. I like that. I want to see more of that. Netflix. Netflix needs to fucking do something the same. Because I'm so tired of thumbnails on Netflix. Just unreal, man. Just Boba Fett. Like, I got so emotional when seeing Boba Fett wearing the fucking armor and just... So many years, man. Wondering if he was still alive and everything. Like, absolutely unreal. Like, it was emotional to see him still alive. It was emotional to see that the armor was still around. But to see them both together. And then on top of it, fucking the ship. Fuck, man. <sighs> oh, my God. So yeah, um, the thought that I had, the, the idea, we saw how badass Boba Fett was with that fucking stuff. Mando has got his own fucking spear, right? In, like between now and saving like the child, could Boba Fett like kind of train Mando on how to use it? Like it don't even have to be long, like a long kind of training montage, like. It could be just as simple as as the woman, I, I can't think of her name, but she's flying the ship and in the back, Mando and, and Boba are training and Boba says, you're getting better. That's it. That's all you need to have is just them two sparring and then for just a little bit of dialogue to say, you're getting better. Meaning that they've been kind of working and training. Like you could even bring up the helmet and... and Boba could ask him, why do you keep it on? You don't have to, like... And then and then he could explain how he can't... Like, just... Just little bits of dialogue. That's all you need, man. I just can't believe we're going to get Boba Fett for the rest of this season now. <laughs> but if Mando now is going around to try and get people to help... I'm kind of shocked that, that Bill Burr was coming back into it. That seems a bit kind of... Oh, let's ride it back in because everybody likes Bill Burr and, and he was great in that one episode. Let's bring him back in. It just seems a bit like... I could understand it if, if Mando and him had a bit of a bond or, or they clicked well in that episode. But they really didn't. So I don't understand why... Okay, the guy was a badass, but yet... Why try and spring him out now? Unless... He might have some knowledge being an ex uh, stormtrooper. <laughs> well, being ex imperial, he might have knowledge. Maybe that's the reason. Uh, yeah, he's a badass who can help, but so is Cara Dune, so is Boba Fett. You know what I mean? It's like, um, I don't know. So I think, like, yes, he's a badass, but I think the main reason why Mando is trying to spring him is because of just general knowledge of imperial shit. Definitely see Ahsoka turning up to help as well. What's going to be kind of interesting because Ahsoka, even though she said that she wasn't a Jedi, everyone keeps referring to her as a Jedi. Boba Fett hasn't got much love for Jedis. So that might be a bit of an interesting bit of dialogue or scene. Like, and thinking about it, if, if it is Luke who turns up because he sensed Grogu on, on the scene stone, how is it going to be with Luke and, and Boba Fett? You know what I mean? Like, is... Is there going to be any issue, like, is there going to be, like, a Han Solo name drop <laughs> because of their whole history together in the movies? Like, oh, my God. Um, Yeah, I think I think the next episode is going to be straight up recruiting, getting people to come in to help, and then the final episode will be going in 
save the day and i think i think they might get overwhelmed and that's where the jedi will turn up to help whoever it, whoever it is I don't know i really don't know with this show man every episode there seems to be something you know but one thing i really want to talk about uh because i thought it but i didn't say it, but like i really wanted to see what baby yoda saw when he was sat on the stone like meditating like i really wanted to see it from his point of view um i think it would have been really cool if they did something like like as he's meditating and the camera's zooming in on him it kind of cuts to baby yoda on the stone but he opens his eyes and he's like surrounded by space you know like that one episode um of rebels where uh ezra pulled ahsoka through the portal like something like that just surrounded by space and like you still see the stones coming up around him and and he sat on the stone he's like looking around and in the distance you see like blue out of focus blurry people you know these people connected to the force you know what i mean like you don't even need to have them really in focus it's they're they're just like they could like some of them could even represent like the pupils that Luke takes on and trains. You know what I mean? Because he's apparently off searching for people to build a new Jedi Order. Like you could show all these blue glows around him. Like to say that there are people connected to the Force. That they are still out there. You know what I mean? Like maybe trained, untrained, just to show that there is still Jedi out there in the galaxy. Just we've not come across them yet you know and i think it would have been really cool if some of those people like they got closer to baby yoda and the closer they got the more in focus they became you know what i mean like one of them could have been ahsoka ahsoka could have been standing there and like smiling at him like i sent you there i feel you there um and then like grogu could have turned around and saw luke <sighs> i mean just thinking about it i'm getting emotional that would have been like that could have been your CG Luke. Even if they don't have him come in, just have Luke there as like a force spirit type of thing. Like he senses him and he's like I mean, come on, man. I don't know, like I'm just sat here, I'm just thinking about it, and I think it would have been really cool. And and like you could have had like voices as well. You could have had like Yoda's voice. And like the same thing what Ray had at the end of like the fucking movie. Like you hear these voices calling out grogu grogu like oh my god man like reaching out through the force like who's to say that it's people who are still alive it could have been like oh my i just mm, um <laughs> anyway um yeah i think the next two episodes like i said is going to be just rescue but then i don't know i kind of want the empire to kind of win on this one like it sounds weird but i feel like if if they go to try and rescue baby yoda and they fail they fail it's the end of the second series the second movie if you will you know like like you could kind of look at it like empire at the end of empire things looked really fucking shit with han solo being took away by boba fett frozen in carbonite luke still reading from the news that vader is his father like the second movie ended so bleak Who's to say that the second season ain't going to end on a bad note? With Mando and everyone failing to save Baby Yoda. I mean, think about it. That could build so much hype for Series 3. Especially if whoever the Jedi is turns up right at the end. And they help in Series 3 to save Grogu. Like, man... I'm so hyped. I really am so hyped. I just want more of this. I just want more of this. Like, I don't even think you need to do movies anymore. You really don't. Instead of trying to cram, like, everything into, like, a two-hour movie and then do, like, a trilogy, I would be perfectly happy with three seasons and each season has, like, six episodes and each episode is an hour long. So instead of trying to cram everything into like a two hour or so movie, just expand it over six episodes. You know what I mean? Like that's six hours for one, like one season slash movie. You know what I mean? Like, oh my, I, I would be perfectly happy with this. Plus like with the volume, they could film anything whenever they want, wherever they want. They can film it. Any time of day, 
like they don't have to worry about going to certain remote countries worrying about trying to get the right weather at the right time of day just go to the volume and film it like i would be so happy with fucking more star wars man more star wars like this hell yeah man um okay i'm gonna wrap this up if you are interested in watching the full length there's a link down below to the whole entire series so far bring it up sync it up with me and just binge watch the whole entire show with me man links are all down below but for now give this video a thumb up if you like it comment down below let me know what you think and subscribe if you haven't already man all right i've been sif and i'll catch you in the next one man